Hello there, my name is Andre Roberts from Sintamani.co.uk, best place to find Android tablet PCs and Windows tablet PCs and the accessories for Android tabs and Windows tabs. We also do accessories for Kindles, iPads and also the repair parts for those different tablet PCs. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Sintamani Licorice device to your 3G network. Now this is pretty much similar for most other Android devices. So these settings I'm going to show you in this procedure can be used for other devices that you have that run Android that you believe are 3G. So what I'm going to do, the first thing, is I'm going to navigate to the main menu. Then click the settings button here. You see that there, yep. Then go to the wireless and networks tab. Okay, at this point, you have the th on this particular device, you've got the Sintamani Licorice 3G option there. So if you just click that, then you've got the Mobile Networks tab. Now on this particular device, you'll have the 3G, but on other devices, they should come up with the Mobile Networks as standard. For case in point, if you don't see this tab here, then your tablet is most likely not 3G. So once you have a 3G tab, you click this option here, and then you've got a range of options. Now at this point, I advise you pull in the SIM card just to get you started. Not before, but really at this point once you've turned on the 3G. You can do it before, of course, but I just prefer to do it this way. There you go. Take your 3G SIM card, pop it in the right way. Just push down on it. Once you hear the click, then you know it's in. Okay. Just get that nice and flush. There you go. Perfect. Right, then turn back. Now, once your SIM card's in, you've got to do a number of checks. You've got to, first of all, check that it's data enabled. Obviously, to allow the device to enable the mobile network. And then, secondly, ensure that data roaming is allowed. Now, when you click this, I think it's a really nice feature of Google, they do let you know that you could incur roaming charges, which means that you better make sure you've got credit on the SIM card or else the internet won't work. If you've got a monthly tariff, that's absolutely fine, just as long as your SIM card has internet access on it, absolutely fine, it should be okay. So just click OK here, and we go over to the access point names. OK, and then you come up with a blank screen. Now, here's where you add the different profiles for each network that you wish to use in terms of your SIM card. And to do this, you push your menu button, which is right here. And then you select new, P new APN, which is in the bottom. Okay, then you're provided with a series of settings. Now, those lucky people who signed up to our site will have all these settings for each different network. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to configure it for the orange network. To do this, you've got to first of all enter the name. Now, this name is just relevant so that you can identify what uh, network you personally are going on to. Okay, I just I to write in orange internet there. It could say connection 1, connection 5, connection 8, or orange connection 1, or whatsoever. That's not too important at this stage. Where it is important is the access point name. Now, this is where you've got to enter the details exactly as you see them, either on our site or on any other system who's giving you access to, first of all, Android tablet, a 3G Android tablet, and then the settings for each network, which we definitely have at our site once you log in. So, to add your APN there, the APN for the Orange Network is just Orange Internet, all lowercase, no spaces. Like so. You just press OK. Once that's in there, the next thing you've got to do is what's called the MCC and the MNC. MCC is just a number, commonly 234. And then the MNC there is 33. Then you press OK. Now for Orange, it's a fairly simple scenario. For other networks, you may have to add proxies, usernames, ports, passwords, MMS proxy, and things like that. But we have all these settings on our site once you've logged in as a customer. So don't fear whichever network you're using, whether it's 3G, Orange, O2, Vodafone, whichever one, we'll have the settings ready for you. Okay, and you just word fill as you've seen there. Once you've got it all ready and you're happy with it, you press the menu button again, and then you press save. 
Okay, then it comes up with a black screen. At this point, we've got to go back. Yep, make sure everything's connected, everything's checked. And then, very simply, wait for the device to register the 3G network. And then, after it's done that, it will show you a 3G icon. Now, this, can, this process can take probably a minute or two, so it's best to just give it its time. Okay, so once you've given it probably two or three minutes, you will notice that the bar in the top right corner goes on to its normal network reception, and then the 3G icon comes up here. Let me just bring it close to the camera so you can just about make it out. Yeah, there you go. So once that's in play, once you can see that, then your tablet is on to the 3G network. This allows you to browse as normal. Now on the Sintamani Licorice, this will give you the ability to browse the internet as you wish to, without the need to depend on your Wi-Fi or, you know, whichever other connections you're using. Just wait for it to load up. There you go. Yeah? It will also allow you to do your normal stuff, go into the market, go into whichever things you feel comfortable with, with uh, viewing. However, what this will not allow you to do is go on to um, use it as a phone. So you cannot, with this device, have a dialer and then start to make calls and make text messages. Barring that, you can do everything else. You can use this at the back of your bus, on the way home, on the train, whichever suits you. You've got the full ability to use the internet how as and how you wish to, but it will not allow you to make phone calls. That's where the Sintamani Oregano comes in, the device that allows you to make a number of different phone calls, texts, all the phone features all in one device. What makes it also pretty good for Skyping and things like that as well. So this has been a demonstration of how to connect the Sintamani Licorice Tablet PC, 3G Licorice Tablet PC, onto a 3G network, namely Orange. Just to remind you, all the information on this is available on our website as a custom when you log in. And as I've shown you, it's a simple autofill, you know, just fill in the little areas and columns there, and then you'll be fine on whichever network you want to use it for. So that's Andre Roberts from Sintamani.co.uk. Oh yeah, I forgot, what's the damage on this little device here? We're offering this 3G tablet device at 175. So that's a pretty good device, they're pretty good. Thank you very much, hope to speak to you soon.